channel. If you didn't know already, I am a Christian vegan and I make YouTube videos on these topics and sometimes other topics like pro-life videos and videos on raising butterflies. Today I will be refuting a common objection to veganism that a lot of Christians will bring up. So let's get right into it. So a lot of Christians will point out the verse in Genesis where it said God gave humans dominion over animals as an argument against veganism. So let's just start off with that verse. Genesis 1:26. And God said, "Let us make mankind in our own image, after our own likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth on the earth." Okay. Genesis 1.27 says, So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And finally, Genesis 1.28 follows by saying, And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the foal of the air and over every living thing that move upon the earth. Now, at first glance, some of you may think that this verse was God's instructions to humans to kill animals. But let's take a look at the next verse. And God said, Behold, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is on the surface of all the earth and every tree which has fruit yielding seed. It shall be food for you. Now, does this verse look like God was telling humans to eat animals? I would definitely say no. God was telling humans to eat plants. Um, no reference to eating animals here. This is a big reason why I think being vegan was a part of God's original um, design. Uh, like later on in Genesis 3, Eve ate from the fruit of the tree of knowledge. And this led to God saying that the world was cursed and that that is when death entered the world. So I believe that is what led to people eating animals because before this, there was no death. So what would dominion mean here then, if you may be wondering? Well, my take on it is that humans are supposed to take care of the animals and be their loving masters. Um, kind of like if you have a pet. Um, you don't want to harm them. You want to love and care for them. And I bet if you had the choice between eating plants or eating your pet, <laughs> you choose to eat plants every single time. And if you had the choice between eating your pet and going a couple days without food, I can bet you would make that sacrifice. Because obviously you love your pet and you would probably do just about anything for them. You would want your pet to be loved and cared for at any cost. And I believe this is what humans are designed to be like. Having dominion over animals as in taking care of them. Consider this. God has if you could call it, dominion over us, humans. Yet, he doesn't just destroy us. He gives people each breath, even while they curse him and mock him. In fact, Jesus died for us, 
not the other way around. He is above us, yet he humbled himself and gave himself up for us. The Bible tells us that the good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. And so we see many beautiful reflections of God and nature in nature itself. God is above us, yet he died for us still. So I believe we should use our dominion over animals to take care of them and love them. After all, the Bible does say that the righteous man regards the life of his animal. God gave them life too, and we should be compassionate to them. After all, no child is born with the instinct to kill animals. It's taught to us by society. You wouldn't take your young child to a slaughterhouse to educate them about animal farming and expect them to come, all out, come out all happy and not traumatized, would you? I mean, if God designed humans to eat animals, why didn't he put that instinct in us from childhood? I mean, we gotta be like a child to enter the kingdom of heaven, right? And why would God create animals with feelings if they were only for food? Isaiah 11.6 talks about there being no killing of animals in heaven and even carnivorous animals eating plants. So if heaven, the new earth, and Eden are all vegan, that shows us that there must be some beautiful design here. God's original and ultimate design. I think being vegan is a beautiful way to bring heaven down to earth. And a lot of people say that eating animals isn't wrong, but the way we do it is wrong. I would say two things. These people who make this claim will usually eat animal products from factory farms. In order to really stick with your word on this, you'd have to make the conscious decision to only buy animal products from private farms, which most people don't do. Not to mention 99% of meat um, comes from factory farms. Also, even if it is from private farms, I still wouldn't support it because the animals are still sent to slaughter, um, something that in itself is not compassionate. It's just not, there's no nice way around it. So yes, the point I wanted to get at is I believe having dominion over animals being me, sorry, being means being their loving masters and caring for them, not destroying them. Life is beautiful and precious and God gave animals life too, to each of them, just like us. And so I hope you would consider these points and consider the other beings we share this earth with. So yes, thank you and life is precious. I hope you will consider this. Music.